Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Rod from Diaspora Kicking the Bobo. Hey, just getting on here. Want to have a little discussion about some things that I've been thinking about, you know, that's going on in the country, you know. About 10 years ago, well, over 10 years, I say 2007, I was in the break room talking to a couple of other therapists, about five of us, and we started talking about America in its condition. What condition was America in? And I looked at them and I say, America would be in a civil war in 20 years. This was 2007. They said, and they all agreed. They knew that. They all agreed. They said, uh, you think it'd be a race war? I said, nah, we're too integrated for a race war. But what it's going to be is a war of ideology. Republican, Democrat, conservative, liberal, you know. And as you know, right now the Republican, conservative Republicans are going too far to the right. Too far. They are so extreme, it's crazy. Then you have the Democrat, the liberal Democrats. They're going too far to the left. It is, they, they are so far to the left, it is crazy. The things they believe and the things they want you to do and believe, you know. If I vote again, it would be phew, out of mercy. You know, I've been wasting my vote for 20 years, you know. But anyway, the thing about it is now it's 2002. And in 2020, or 21, the beginning of 2021, what I predicted came to fruition. We had that ideological war with Donald Trump, January the 6th. Those people came out of the woodwork and they attacked the Capitol. Could you believe that? You would have never thought it, but I did. I knew it was going to happen. I saw it. And when Donald Trump came into office, he gave those per people permission to come out of the closet. And they're out of the closet and they're gonna stay out of the closet because they have someone, they have a hero who's fighting for them. They justify it by saying that other people are trying to usurp the constitution. That's the excuse they use in order to bring their own hateful beliefs out, you know? But now you're going to hear from me. We're going to have another civil war. This one is not going to be a war of ideology. This one is going to go a little bit far. It's not going to be a race war. Remember, we're too, we're too uh, integrated for that. This time, this one's going to be shedding blood. And that's why we need a second way out. You know what I'm saying? I see it coming. But before I go on, I would like for you all to subscribe to the channel. You know, subscribe to the channel uh, Di Diaspora Kicking the Bobo. You know, we need your subscriptions because of what we're planning to do. We're planning on uh, opening up our human service department in West Africa, in one of the countries starting off. We don't know which country starting off, but we're going to do it. And we need your subscriptions, you know, to... In the, in the end, that's going to help us out in any type of funding, you know. We're trying to get up to a million subscriptions, you know. Because my end, of, the end of my road here is about a year and a half. Not this January, but hopefully next, the January after next, you know. And we want it all done. But anyway, like I was saying, it's coming. You know, we're used to hearing civil wars in, in, in Liberia, uh, Sierra Leone, uh, Nigeria, Senegal, Gambia, of presidents going and doing things that they wasn't supposed to do. You know, that's shocking the world. Well, what about these presidents in the United States? They are doing the same thing, you know. And it's going to be up to us 
to stop them, you know? And get this, when we do stop them, they're not gonna do anything for us. Say for instance, Joe Biden wouldn't even be in office if it wasn't for black folks, wouldn't. But is he doing anything special for us? No, okay, he put a black lady in as vice president. He put, well, she didn't start acting black until they needed her to. And then we got a black lady in that Supreme Court justice. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll go for that one. I'll go for that one. She's a smart lady, you know, but, you know, she married to the other, you know. But see, here's the thing. That always put some people in charge that they can control. That's all I'm saying, you know. But all of these countries have wars and they have civil wars. It's about time for America to have theirs. That's why you need a second way out. You know, whether it's West Africa, East Africa, or South Africa. You need a second way out. You need another plan. Just like I have another plan. You know, there's nothing wrong with having dual citizenship here in another place. You know, when I say dual citizenship, I really mean dual citizenship. I owe nobody my loyalty because everybody Everybody unjustifiably enslaved my ancestor. American white folks, Britain white folks, Africans, you know, Arabs, Jews, you name it. They did it. I let nobody off the hook. You know? So, and like I say, when I leave America, I'm not leaving America because I hate America. I don't believe you you have to hate something in order to love something. I love Africa because that's where my ancestors come from, you know? And I believe I can live there in peace and in harmony, you know? All of these other, I wouldn't say all the YouTubers, but some of these YouTubers, you know, they had good points, you know? Go Black to Africa. I be listening to him, you know, lately. When he first started coming out, his programs were like three hours long. I, I liked them, but I couldn't, I couldn't give them those three hours. I was too busy. Now his programming is a little shorter, you know. I enjoy the content, you know. I still enjoy bags. I still enjoy uh, the arrivals. I still enjoy uh, Watamea. I still enjoy, uh, who else is there? Uh, our family. Definitely our family is a good one. I enjoy them, you know, but the thing about it is, you know, we are going to have a civil war here. It's got to happen. This is how it always starts. It always starts by people, you know, not following the rules of the law and, you know, uh, white folks are so, so intent of breaking the law doing things their own way, they were they would rather destroy this country in, rather than to let somebody else run it. And that's what they're doing. They are destroying the country. You know? They said, we built it, we're going to die with it. When truth be told, they didn't build it. At least they didn't build the infrastructure of it. You know? They had help with other people. You know, we didn't do it by ourselves. They didn't do it by themselves either. You know what I'm saying? We all had a part in building this country. But you let them say it. They did it. They always say, make America great again. When was America great for us? You know, name a point in time when America is great for us. When America was great for me, I did it. Nobody helped me with anything. Everything I got, I earned. I worked for it. No white man, no white woman, no black woman, no black man can say they gave me anything. I worked hard for everything I got. Sometimes I sit back and wish something would have came to me easy. You know? But the thing about it is, is that look out for that war because it's coming. You can see it. You know, that, you know just like you can see, you can tell when it's about to rain. You see the signs. Oh, yeah. You know when it's about to rain. You see the signs. And we are showing signs right now. 
you know? And I can't wait for this year and a half up. My goals and my plans, I'm sticking to it, just like some of my subscribers told me to, and thank you for that, you know? You gave me great advice by telling me to stick to the plan, and I'm sticking to the plan, you know? I'm gonna be coming to you again and first of all, I want you to subscribe, hit the bell, you notice, you know, I'm going to start going on live pretty soon here. I just have to get the time, you know, I got a lot of contracts, seeing a lot of individual one-on-ones. I'm going to start doing some counseling scenarios, letting you hear some scenarios that I've, uh, I've did and I counsel, especially to some of my Sierra Leone and Liberian count, uh, clients who came from uh, those countries in the day and the reason why they have these these uh mental health issues because of what they've seen and experienced i won't be telling you the names but some of the uh experiences i will so subscribe to my channel hit the like button leave me a comment you know i like answering my comments and if you subscribe to me i will subscribe to you all right thank god be blessed